Well, um, as far as researching the infertility and the adoption and all of that, that was my life for six, seven years. Um, we did five full years of fertility treatments and, and met with you know, a lot of doctors and a lot of different adoption agencies and a lot of things. And so all of that research had, had been done over the, all those years. Um, I wanted it to be very real, very true to life and very honest. And for me, that was the hard part. I think writing fiction in a very honest way is difficult. And also, I, it was hard to expose that much of myself because I knew everyone that knew me, at the very least, would, would know that I had felt some of those emotions or, or would think that I had. And, and I had. And I didn't know if I wanted people to know that much about me. <laughs> but I felt it was really important to portray this honestly and and real and true to life and so that was that was probably the hardest part was was really being that honest and open and and vulnerable and and getting those emotions across um, the the part that I had to do technical research on was the pregnancy part <laughs> because even though at the end of all of those years we finally hit upon a treatment that worked I had a, a lot of complications with the pregnancy and, and it, w it ended with a C-section at 28 weeks. So I didn't have any of that late pregnancy experience. So those were the things I found myself researching <laughs> was, you know, what happens in those last, those last few months and, and the, the doctor visits of that kind for, for the baby. And, and so that was the technical research. Um, the infertility side, the adoption side, I'd lived that. So... I just wanted to be honest and true to what had happened. Yeah.